All right, if you haven't recognized the symbol yet, this is a Razer laptop, the brand new one that just got announced a couple of weeks ago. The one with Cavi Lake, as you see, for gamers by gamers. This is not necessarily with the dedicated GPU one, but for editing wise, I wanted to test this out. And of course, to show you an unboxing of how it comes. Okay, so this lifts up and we got the charging brick, charging cable for the power brick, and then the laptop is right here. Ooh, I'm super excited because the way it looks, here it is, the laptop 13 inch new Razer Stealth. Good weight to it, definitely. And see what else is in here. That's the booklet, the extra stuff. Razer neon colorful tattoo. Just kidding, it's a sticker. And then we have a cleaning cloth, the Razer Blade Stealth manual. And congratulations, there is no turning back. Those of you guys know that I edit everything on my PC for like gaming. I want to be able to leave my area, my man cave here and go anywhere. And this is something that I wanted to get that's ultra portable. I don't know why there's a big hype about taking the stickers off. I like, does it really sound that good? I don't think so. I just kind of thought maybe some people like it. This is, uh, I don't know if I mentioned, I don't think so, but it's USB type C, so power banks will be able to charge this. This power bank right here by Zero Lemon is my favorite one that I've reviewed so far and also has type C plug in here. This is gonna be more than enough if this battery dies, which is gonna get like nine hours of battery life anyways, but this is gonna rejuice it up so I can have even longer edit time or even gaming time. All right, look at this thing, tiny. A lot of people look at it and say it looks like a MacBook Pro. I agree, MacBook Pros look very sexy and this is very sleek. I love the size of it. We have the USB-C port, USB-A headphone jack. That's on the left side if you're looking at it head on. Nothing in the front, but it looks like there's a little LED indicator. And then on the right side, we have another USB-A port and an HDMI out. In the back, there is nothing, so it looks very sleek. On the bottom, we have the slits for venting and the fans, and we do have a longer rubber piece to keep this onto your desk from sliding. That is not sliding at all. I have to really push that to, to really get it to move. As you can tell already, it is gonna start leaving fingerprints the more I touch it around, so it's a matte finish. It's a smooth surface so the light can shine through. And let's peek inside. Ooh, one-handed, whoop, almost one-handed. Maybe that will get into more one-handed use. Now, one reason why I didn't get a razor a while ago is because of how big those bezels were on this. Now, the bezels have shrunk. They're not the skinniest ones, but they're way, way better than they were before. And this is a QHD, it's 3200 by 1800, and it's a touch display, sensors, camera, 720p, and again, I love the black theme to it. Perfect size glass trackpad. Now pressing on the keys, I love quiet keyboards and this is gonna be definitely one of those if you're typing a lot. The speakers are on the sides, just like the MacBooks. Power button in the middle. Unfortunately, there's no fingerprint scanner. It's legit feeling like quality. So definitely feel proud of rocking this around if you're gonna take it places. So now we're just gonna do a power up here. Let me see, let me get it to look like that. There we go. Here's gonna be the first boot. Oh, I just, okay. It's a really soft button, and you can see the keyboard changes colors. Whether you are a gamer or not, you're gonna like to be able to customize every key individually. This is a 256 SSD hard drive running on 16 gigs of RAM. Intel i7-7400U, or is it 7600U? Now this is in the dark, and let's see the view and angles. We can see that at this angle, I don't think I'll ever be looking at, <laughs> at this angle. There we go, it is now finally booted up. Hi there, I'm Cortana. I'm just gonna skip through this, you guys don't need to layout. see this. We need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. Something's rattling. All right, so I'm gonna be testing the speakers here. I do notice that there's a vibration going on on this right speaker. You're in it to, to win it. Yeah. Whitney Houston. 100%. You're broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round, and you can't find the fighter. But I see it in you, so we're gonna walk it out and move. 
Wow, she is really good. Super talent right there. The speakers sound really good. It's not going to outperform the MacBooks. They're, the MacBook Pros just sound amazing. They sound like they even have subwoofers in there. They sound really good. Hey guys, so the other day I went to a recycle store to get rid of some of my stuff. And when I went to the store, there's a guy who was trying to sell his stuff. Alright, so it definitely sounds good. You're going to be able to enjoy watching movies and stuff. The fans have not kicked in while watching any YouTube videos. That's what's really nice. I don't like noise. So we're gonna see how it sounds when I edit and stuff. But again, that's gonna be on the next one when I start doing the full review. If this is gonna be what I'm gonna be keeping or not. Here is the window surface. All right, sorry about the glare, but we can see that it literally looks pretty similar to the size. This is a 13.2 or 0.4 inch screen. <laughs> And then this is a 12.7. And as you can tell, as I logged into my account, this is basically the same background. Everything feels cool still. There's nothing hot feeling. And there we go. That is literally our first unboxing and impressions video. Okay, we can see the Surface Pro 3 tablet is a little bit small in footprint because it doesn't have the speakers in there. But we can see what that size comparison is going to be if you're coming from or know what the sizes are. The only thing that I wish the Razer would have is an SD card. Even a micro SD card would be nice. Like I said, I'll do a much more intensive showcase review. I really started to use the Surface Pro tablet here. This is the third generation. I am going to do a final thoughts and review. Even though this is a little bit older, I do want to showcase and kind of tell you my experience with this. Because you can still get it today and it is going to be worth it. It does play games. You can edit on this. It is a pro consumer tablet here, Windows 10. And this is a much newer, much more expensive. You are paying a more premium price, but you're paying for sexy, brand new, compact, all in this form factor. Those of you guys who've been wanting a MacBook Pro look-alike, this is gonna be definitely the design you want and it's running Windows. And again, I will do some gaming and more when I learn more about it. But for now, this is just a simple unboxing, first impressions of how it started off. For what I need it for is for editing. It doesn't need to be super fast editing like my PC, obviously it's gonna be way more better performing but I needed to edit on the go. I bought this myself off Razer. I did try to get Razer to pay attention to me and try to send it to me. They did not even reply or like my comments or answer my emails or even retweet my tweet. So I had to buy it myself. The next time I will also compare this to the MacBook Pro. Thank you for watching. I hope this got your attention. Maybe you're looking for something like this. This does cost $1,400, so you are paying a lot. So if you want it for yourself, more information, find it in the description down below. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Later.